I'm a 15-year-old girl, only a teenager like the others, with a lot of dreams, fears, and thoughts I would like to share with you tonight. Have you ever felt inferior to someone only because you thought that person is more beautiful than you somehow? Don't have to tell me, just think about it. Let me tell you something about those people considered beautiful. They have their insecurities too. We all have to deal with aesthetic pressures every day. There are a lot of beauty standards the society wants us to follow, but it's not possible to follow them, simply because they're not the real world. The pictures you see on magazines are fake, like this woman. That's how she really is. And that's the picture which was published. Is it real? No. That's what the girls will see, and that's the standard they will try to follow. We need to learn how to admire different kinds of beauty. I'm not like you, and you're not like me. The self-love is a daily construction. To be where I am now, I had to deal with a lot of insecurities. My face is full of pimples, for example. But I learned they're part of my history, and my stretch marks are part of my body. Every single day, someone calls me asking for help about self-love. They say they are afraid about what the others will think about their appearance. But this can happen because when you see someone, you have bad thoughts about the others too. Let me give an example. Can you see this paper that I gave to you? Take it and make a ball. Now open it and make it, it like it was before. Try to make it. Can you see? That's impossible. When you make fun of someone, that's how the people will feel. Many times we think the person doesn't care, but it hurts. Have you ever thought that if you go around telling things about the others, that can hurt someone? Or when you make fun of someone, how would they feel? One day, I decided to Google with the keywords, how to love myself. And there were 860 million results. Every day, people research about this. There's a thing that I learned it to life, that is, if you don't have self-love, how can you offer love to someone else? And if you don't have a cake, how can you offer a cake to someone else? It's the same thing. Many times, low self-esteem can bring us diseases, like depression, anxiety, anorexia, bulimia, and so on. To have self-love doesn't mean that you must love yourself all the time. It's okay if you want to change your body sometimes the way you want it for you, not for the others. I will tell you about a recent situation that happened here in Brazil. There was a 17-year-old girl, Jelly Santos, and a 24-year-old woman, Nara Almeida. Nara was fighting with cancer and Jelly with the bullying because she was fat. Nara posted pictures every day about her treatment and her day life, and she received compliments saying that her body, that her body was perfect, that she was beautiful. Jelly was attacked every day with bad comments. Eventually, Nara died on May 21st, and Jelly on May 16th. She was found hanging on the school's bathroom. That situation put us to think about how our image is important for the society, instead of us caring about the people's feelings. Put us to think about how we treat one another. To finish my presentation, I have three questions for you. Do you want to kill someone with bad comments? Do you want to be murdered by someone with bad comments? Or do you want just to be you and make the difference for the world? Thank you.